this is a Power BI report. I can save this uh, report as a project file. If I go to file, save as, and I have these options, I can save it as PBIP file. Once I do that, I have a folder structure and I can see that there are two folders and various files which are uh, related to that particular PBX file. So this is one way. Other ways you can rename the PBX file to zip file and extract the contents so that you get a folder structure with the uh, various directories and files. So we understand that PBX file is actually a compressed folder containing various directories and files where each folder and file within the structure serves a specific purpose as we see here. Next, uh, we will look at a Python package and uh, try to understand uh, what is a PBX file and look through the contents and the structure. So um, this is the package which is a pbax ray package and uh, you can install it by using pip install pbx ray and uh, this library is helpful to look at the structure and contents um, and we will try to use a jupyter uh, notebook file and uh, we will look at all these uh, steps one by one so uh, i import this particular pbx ray and uh, create a model object by passing the file uh, path here. And once I run the cell, I have a model. So I can start using all the features and uh, look at the tables first. For example, if I click on model dot, I have various options. First, let me look at the tables. Once I run this cell, I have those tables in my PBX file. And next, I will look at the metadata. And this is the metadata. And also, I can look at if there are any M. Um, Power Query uh, code used for data transformations. I can see that this is the model size and I can also look at the calculated tables and I have those tables there. And also I can look at the measures as well. So for example, let me uh, go back uh, to the next step here and I can look at the measures. If I run this cell, I have a table name, name and an expression. And in case if I want, I can save this as a CSV file and look at my measures and probably use them elsewhere, right? This is one option. There are various tools, but uh, this is uh, one thing which I thought I will uh, uh, demonstrate this package, PBA X-ray package. So once I run that cell, I have that uh, file as well. I can look at the model schema as well. So these are the various uh, mm, uh, table name, etc. And I can look at the relationships and also I can get the table contents. I can pick a particular table. For example, I will pick this population table. If I run that, I have my table contents as well. So I can look at the statistics and I can look at the DAX columns as well. So this is pretty uh, cool way of looking into a PBX file and try to understand the structure and contents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.